So how, how you speak with someone shows a lot about the kind of relationship that you have with them. So maybe an acquaintance, you speak with a kind of politeness and friendliness, but not much more than that. Maybe a friend, it's more relaxed and, and chatty, there's an ease. Maybe a best friend or a spouse, you move towards an intimacy and a, and a vulnerability. But how you speak to someone shows a lot about the kind of relationship that you have with them. Well, here's the word that sums up how Jesus um, spoke with God. Abba. Um, it's an Ar Aramaic term for father, only less formal than our word father. Um, it expresses an intimacy. Um, it expresses a, an ease and a familiarity. Of all the relationships that we see Jesus forming through the Gospels, it seems that there was none that he prized and enjoyed more than his relationship with God the Father. Uh, we read of him taking himself off for hours each morning to pray. Not You don't get the sense that it's out of a, a kind of religious duty that he does that. He just loves it. And at the time of greatest crisis, um, this is where... He turns. Actually, this term Abba is recorded on Jesus lips um, in Mark 14, verse 36. Um, it's when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, imploring his father to take away the cup of suffering that he was to endure at the cross. And there he says, Abba, father, if it's possible, take it away. Yet not what I will, but what you will. And perhaps we see most of all, therefore, Abba, an expression of absolute trust and surrender. Scholars have scoured the prayers of other first century rabbis in vain to find anything like this approach to God. Now, here's a question for us this morning. Wouldn't you love that kind of relationship with God yourself. Now, here's what we see in Romans 8 together this morning. OK, because of the spirit, you can. Because of the spirit, this kind of approach to God can be yours. Here are these verses again for for those who are led by the spirit of God. Yeah, that's everyone who trusts in Jesus are the children of God. The spirit you receive does not make you slave so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you receive brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry. And here's that word. Abba. Father. Now, this this is a very deliberate echoing of the same way that Jesus approached God. And the reason that, that Paul chooses this word specifically is because he's making a very profound point. He's saying, if we have the spirit of Christ within us, we have the immense privilege of approaching God in the same way as Jesus. Now, this is so extraordinary that we can tend to downplay it. So we say, OK, sure, that that sounds great. But surely we are different to Jesus. Right. I mean, after all, he was the son of God. So so we, we, we can't expect exactly the same kind of prayer life as Jesus himself, can we? To which Paul would say, well, yes, of course, in a sense, we are not the same as Jesus. OK, he was the eternal son of God. We, we are we are created beings. And yet Paul would go on to say. The immense privilege of being a Christian is that you really can enjoy exactly the same access to God that Jesus enjoyed when he was a man here on earth. OK, exactly. The same. And that's because we don't have a kind of halfway Christ 
living in us by the Spirit. Okay, we, we have 100% of God's Spirit living within us, which means that we can approach God 100% as Jesus did when he was here on earth. Now, that is unbelievable when you think about it. So here's, a, here's just a few questions for us. OK, do you in your approach to God, do you think of him as Abba, Father, exactly the same way that Jesus did in your time of crisis? Do you cry out? It's interesting, this word cry, it implies the kind of crisis we're going to see later on in Romans. OK, in, in times of celebration do you cry out in joy to the father early in the morning throughout the day you see prayer is not something that christians have to do to somehow reach god or connect with god it's something that by the spirit we get to do it's how we express the astonishing fact that we have been adopted by god it's how we enjoy the fact that the same devotion that God gave to his one and only son, Jesus, he now gives to us who walk by the spirit. So the heart of, of prayer, the key to growing in our own prayer lives is this simple word, Abba. The intimacy, the ease, the familiarity, the enjoyment, the utter trust and surrender that Jesus enjoyed with God. By the spirit, it's given to you. The more we appreciate that this is who God is, the more we will enjoy time and prayer with him every day. So why don't I close now with, with prayer? Father, we praise and thank you that by the Holy Spirit, we can now cry out, Abba, Father. We can enjoy the same relationship with God the Father that the eternal Son of God had. And Lord, we pray that we would prize and prioritize um, this relationship with you more and more. Um, help us to develop that same sense of ease, familiarity and intimacy uh, with you in prayer. And we pray that for Jesus' sake. Amen.